Hello everyone, welcome to the Jenkins Infrastructure Meeting Weekly Meeting. Today we are the 6th December of 2022. So today we have myself, Damien Duportal, Bruno Verarten, Basil is not there, Stéphane Merle, Mark Waite, Hervé Lemeur. Five person. Okay. Let's get started with announcement. Um, the weekly 2.381 has been released. So at least the, the war on packages, Docker images, image is okay since uh, 15 minutes. So I assume the checklist has to be finished later today. Is there anything else on that weekly, Mark, or anyone? Uh, the the change log has been updated, and I think we may actually be very near done with the checklist. I haven't run the checklist for several weeks. I think Alex Brandis has been doing them. So I think we're on track. Cool. Um, so we had an issue on trusted CI. I've opened an issue and will it has already been added on the list there. I will mention it later. But when an issue when spawning Windows virtual machines, so I've currently on trusted CI, the puppet agent is disabled and I've manually changed the configuration to allow the Docker image to be built. So uh, that should be fixed later. Uh, it's not a problem, just to share knowledge. Second announcement, last week, the new LTS 2.375.1 has been released. Uh, we are running it on all our LTS-based controller with no issue. Uh, that's the second LTS line with GDK 11. So we can consider GDK 8 to be dead on the infrastructure, except for the developer that still need that whole GDK. Anything else? No announcement, okay. Upcoming calendar next weekly will be next week as expected. Uh, I don't know when is the next LTS though. Uh, I assume January. January 11. Hang on just a minute. I'll get you the exact date to be sure. Uh, January 11 is next LTS, correct. Okay. So the uh, Tim Jacome approved the proposal and reflected it in the Jenkins release calendar that there would be a two week delay rather than releasing at in the last week of December. New Year's Eve. Okay, thanks for confirmation. Next security release tomorrow. So has the public announcement been sent? I haven't I have seen it. No idea. I don't think so. Okay. okay, so just as a matter of a general pattern, then we even even though it probably will be sent within the next few hours, we regularly we'd rather prefer not to even mention the existence of a security release until they say so. Yep. So no one here what I just said. Exactly. So please erase from all memory the fact that there was a mention that tomorrow there will be a, plug, a security release for plugins. Or and some and plugins. The meeting will be online, but tomorrow. Should we make a clap to synchronize the kit? <laughs> We don't <laughs> exactly, and no, don't forget don't to use to, the force. We, we don't need to edit anything, we don't need to delete anything. We just this is not a yeah, okay. I'll just wait before posting the recording. Yeah, if, if you, the recording probably won't be finished processing by the time they've announced that it's coming. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started on the issues that we finished during the last iteration. Just a little the... note. Yes. I added, I added to the informing report uh, the number of issues for each category. Thanks. So it's a little bit, but... Nice, nice uh, iteration. Um, so tiny iteration by tiny iteration. So, uh, alas, uh, we had to remove uh, the mirror on Green Hall in Netherlands because they had to repurpose their uh, server. Mm. So yeah, thanks a lot for everything you did for the Jenkins community. But yeah, alas, 
right. So we still have our run on the area and we have some mirrors to check. Um, we have an open tick, uh, issue on that because uh, we have Belnet, which has been disabled since sometimes now. I can't remember or find where. So we get a deep dive and see if it's still up to date. We could add it back. Yeah, yeah. I tested the this disabled uh, mirror and they are up in, uh, on my browser at least, but so. Okay. So that will be an issue for the upcoming uh, for the upcoming uh, milestone, is that okay for you? Yes. So work in progress following this one. I'm adding it to the next milestone. Okay, uh, thanks Harvey for taking care of that one. Uh, next issue we had, uh, we have a new plugin on Jenkins with new contributor and they were asking help to deploy their initial release. Uh, just a note, Mark and Bruno, I'm not sure if uh, they didn't follow carefully a documentation or if we have missing doc or I don't know why. It sounds like, uh, based on what uh, Alex and the, um, the contributor said, they are using Gradle. So the usual documentation using Maven might or might not apply. I'm not really sure. They finally were able to upload the HPI file. So the reason why it didn't work initially, I assume there has been something on the uh, repository permission updater that only runs every three hours. So my guess is that they had it. It was merged on the repository. They thought it was okay. But in fact, the deployment is only done a few hours when the job regularly run. That's why they would have been allowed to create the initial struct, but not to upload the HPI plugin. I might be wrong. That's only a, a gut feeling. Anyway, they were able to finish their upload manually as confirmed. They had questions, so thanks Hervé uh, for uh, answering the question because I didn't answer all the questions. And we ensure that everything was pushed on the mirrors available and the plugin websites is showing a page. So now they don't see the readme file. I'm not sure why. That's something, is it okay if I reopen the issue so we can keep track of them because- uh, If if you okay. give me, what's the plugin's name? It is ZOS- Z DevOps. Z DevOps, okay, let me do a quick look. So sometimes it's just, okay, so no documentation found for this plugin. No, rep no SCM repository in their palm file. Oh, right, because it's a Gradle plugin. It doesn't have a palm file. Um, this ah. will probably need help from uh, Gavin Mogan to understand how or if the plugin site is ready to support. So just reference Hawkeye at Hawkeye okay. um, because I yeah. don't know how how he invite does. Them. Invite them to open a community. Uh, Jenkins IO thread and ping archives on it. I, I I think it if yeah or you could just reopen this. I don't know yeah. that or open it on plugins on the plugins development sites or on the GitHub repository for the plugin site. But I would say I don't know how great plugins issue. are doing docs docs automation. Sorry. It, uh, Sorry. Yeah, I think it's a different issue than this one. Mm. Not for me. The initial request is uh, the ability to uh, we can re we can change the title if you prefer. But the okay. issue is no, 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 okay. the, mm. it's a general issue about they want to release the initial version of their plugin, and so having the correct documentation on the plugin is part of that part. Is part of that whole thing. It. The, it, because here it's not an internal issue like uh, you or Stefan or I, we tend to split in atomic tasks for us internally. But when it's someone not on the on the Jenkins infra team, it's more a more general issue. So we should close only when they are happy with the outcome, except uh, weird situation. And in that case, the fact that they confirmed the answer, they gave the right answer, 
for me, we should reopen the issue to mark the fact that we are tracking that. It could go to community or to the mailing. You're correct, there are multiple solutions to handle that. But my proposal is that we keep using these issues. Our goal incentive is not to close issues, but to have them happy. So it's one way to get new contributor happy. What do you think of that? And proposal? it's easier for them to follow only one issue than to have to follow more than one. It's on the other way, opening on community will gain more knowledge sharing. So that's always a balance complicated because we spread information everywhere. Um, I propose we keep the issue open since it's a bootstrap plugin. And if it if they keep asking questions that are already answered or could be answered by any help, and I'm sure Gavin might have the same reflex as you, uh, Hervé, uh, that might move to community Jenkins are you at the moment in time. We we are on the on the limit. Is it really infra? Is it the Jenkins project? Is it community? Yeah, that's that's not clear. So I propose we keep that one uh, with the argument that Stefan just made. Does it make sense for all of you? It does not. Yes. Use because of that. And so Bruno and Mark, that's a pointer that maybe we could ask them help to help uh, writing uh, or draft something around. If you have a Gradle plugin, um, uh, you need to, to know that this work, this doesn't work and eventually point issue. But so there is at least a, a, a few lines that could help other. Right, and that's, and, and that's, a, that's a very helpful one because I'm not a Gradle user. I've never been a Gradle user. I have no concept of what the steps are and most Jenkins developers aren't Gradle users. So they are doing a real service to the community if they'll give us hints about how they did it as, as a Gradle user so that other Gradle users don't have to go through the same learning process. Yeah, definitely. Do you know the handle of Kevin? Hawkeye, H-A-L-K-E-Y. Sorry, of uh, Kevin for the documentation. Oh, K Martin's okay. 27, you got it right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Up. Thanks, folks. So that one is moving back to work in progress. Uh, next issue, running custom SQL requests for plugin health core project. Uh, nothing to say, uh, request from Adrien, the current devel main developer of the application. Run and checked the information were uh, archived uh, in the issue, so unless someone has question uh, the goal was to change a table and then it allowed him to fix a bug and a new release has been deployed and it sounds like it's going smooth aci agent are all failing so we had that issue with the aci agent last week only so that means only windows container aci is a service to run container linux or windows we only use it on ci jenkins io only for windows container GDK 8, 11, 17, and now 19. And the issue was because a new release of the base inbound agent from the community uh, was creating issue in the way we were passing environment variable for setting up Java options. That was an issue around parsing of this Java option, which is a, a collection of flags uh, parsed by the shell with spaces. Thanks from the help of uh, Alex Hurl, uh, he pointed us the fact that we had to use double quotes around single flags in order for the content of the flag not to be interpolated by PowerShell. So uh, thanks Alex for that. And so we have a pull request open by Stefan on the community to document that element so other community users won't be beaten by this new feature even if it's on your edge case. So thanks for that part, uh, Stefan. I assume it's work in progress, but it's contribution. So that's us contributing back. Uh, it has been fixed and it works very well. Uh, we didn't have to, to add other issues. Uh, improve ECO of Jenkins IO. Uh, so thanks Hervé, Tim and Alex. Uh, to add the no index and Hervé, thanks for uh, checking on the Google uh, indexation console, yep. search console. 
I've noticed some other issue, uh, like a uh, lot of uh, your. Uh, uh, I'll show you later, but uh, we can improve uh, Jenkins.io CEO by uh, removing uh, an allowed uh, URL to be indexed. indexed. There are a lot of page in uh, looking in the search console. I saw uh, some issue we could uh, easily fix. I think. Okay. Do you mind opening the issues in LDS for that so it can be shared with uh, uh, yeah. the rest of the contributor? So some might be wanted, some not. I don't know, but that that could be important to archive it. But thanks, thanks for looking. So the result is. We should see less account reset request on LDesk because account Jenkins IO is, or at least the reset password page is, should not be indexed anymore. Thanks everybody for that. A pipeline step docs generator and backend extension indexer. So they were only cleanup tasks that were done. Thanks Stefan for helping me on that part. So the Jenkins IO, uh, pages with the reference documentation for pipeline steps is now fully handled on Infra CI Jenkins IO with a public CI and uh, the same Jenkins file is used for both. Disable password expiry in Azure tenant. That was an old one. So only we have less than 20 Azure account on the Azure portal. And rotating password is not a good security practice. That has been enough time that it has been demonstrated by a lot of researcher security specialists, and it's recommended by most of the main cloud system, including Microsoft themselves. Given that all the accounts have two uh, two FA enforced on Azure, there is no absolutely no reason to rotate password. The goal is to be sure that by rotating password, we don't use weak password. We, you have to select a strong password and you don't have to change it. That's not a problem anymore. So thanks, Hervé, for digging that one and confirming with Tim. So I've applied as a super admin of the Azure system. I've applied the change. I've added screenshots uh, so that every, so we have a kind of archive and audit of what were there. Java 19, Stefan, can you give us a head? It's done? Yes, it's done just brand new okay so you sent an email to the developer to announce that of course not but i will okay <laughs> you have to now but congrats so that means we can have container and virtual machines on ci jenkins io with gdk 19 on windows is that correct yes it is cool so i'm sorry but i have to reopen we have to yeah, announce I forgot, it i forgot the and mail of course I knew it when I closed it. So I said, mm, it will reopen it. That's, thanks a lot for the work on that part that will open uh, early testing of plugins and Jenkins core and uh, a lot of elements. Any question on this one? You forgot nope. to end. I will edit afterwards. Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, someone already moved it. Thanks. Jenkins mirror. So we have a new mirror in Asia. Thanks, Hervé, for adding that. And thanks, Servana, for hosting that. So that new mirror is located, I think it's Indonesia. Uh, my geography is not, might not be that good. So yeah, Hervé show, uh, uh, showed in the advocacy IRC channel, almost one terabyte already downloaded for that mirror. So, which is a good thing. It's used, it works. So I hope that will help our Indian user to not suffer from the slow mirrors that uh, are in China because from India, it's slow. So let's see. Thanks a lot. Uh, regarding account information, Okay, that one closed, yeah, that was uh, account issue, no problem. Space tabs are open to label. I think that was meant to be used in community, not for us. Accounts, update infrastructure to the new LTS. So thanks Stefan for uh, 
for helping me on this one that was done last week, all on all, all our controller. Another forgot password issue. And data log syslog spam fixed last week. Um, Datadog has issue on our virtual machine. And we had to fine tune the configuration of the Datadog disk probe. So the probe in charge for each Datadog agent running on a virtual machine to check the local file system disks to report metrics. Uh, the idea is to ignore the TMPFS and, and a word file system such as a net namespace and other that are used by Docker container. No more logs, the syslog size decreased from five gigabytes to 100 megabytes. I had the issue on a personal machine so that I just transplanted uh, what I found. Now work in progress. Enable to deploy HPI files. So that one should be moved to the next iteration. Um, let me open and move it to the new milestone. That's the one we just covered about the new plugin. Various plugin download fails with HTTP response 500 RV. You were on that topic, right? Do you need help or do you need to hand over to someone or do you continue? Uh, uh... I put a log in a private uh, conversation, but I haven't uh, looked. Uh, there isn't anything in Mirrorbit's uh, logs. And okay. I've also published uh, public engine logs. I haven't checked them yet. Okay. Them I... for their content yet. I'm putting both of us on that part. So we can hand over. So there was an issue. Uh, most probably it was uh, an outage when adding the new mirror. No, sure. when removing, we are decommissioning. The oh, Netherlands. when decommissioning. Oh. The Netherlands mirror. It was, and I, I think he's in Germany. So there's a, there's a good chance he was on this mirror when I decommissioned it. Yeah, OK. Um, could be. Yeah, maybe, no, maybe not. Could be. Uh, so we'll confirm if we don't see. Yeah. So we'll continue investigating that one, but we are not able to reproduce after uh, one hour after uh, the ticket was opened. Um, a new bug. That one is for Stefan. <laughs> Sorry, Thank Stefan. You. So we fixed the ACI agent, which broke the Azure Windows VM agent on CI Jenkins and trusted Jenkins, as I said for the weekly. It's minor templating issue. Uh, something needs double quotes, some doesn't. So that's a minor one that should be fixed quite early. I've put all the details and yeah. So let's move it to the next. Stefan, it's a gift to you. You're so nice. Uh, prevent creation of new issues on the website project. So there's been a long discussion on that topic. I'm mm. questioning. I don't know if you have admin permission, Hervé, on Jira. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, what I what I opened as discussion with Daniel is uh, what should we do with existing website issue? Uh, should the last opened one uh, be reviewed? And uh, if there are some interesting ones, should we migrate as uh, in copy, uh, copying this issue in Jenkins IO repo issues, then closing them in Jira? I think uh, you, Mark, and Kevin, and the copy editor. I'll let you decide if it's OK for you, then we'll process the removal of, uh, or not, of this, uh, will process this issue. OK. If you need uh, any help, uh, Tim, Mark, and Hi, and Daniel should be OK. If you need any action on the Jira, please ping me, uh, namely, on the, uh, add a comment on the issue, and I will help. I've added it to the next milestone, if it's OK for you. And yes. Both Mark and Hervé are assigned. Uh, you are designed volunteer. Um, clean up resource of the prod community functions. <clears throat> I've sent an email on the mailing list earlier today. Um, I've searched more in dive. It sounds like all the functions are all the same from the archive repository. 
So I don't, I wasn't able to find anything uh, that would justify not deleting this. It's not a lot of money. Um, I've proposed seven days. So next week I will delete it unless someone object on the mailing list or on the issue. Uh, new repo for Jenkins board. So there has been some misunderstanding and discussion. Um, we went a bit too quick. So there is an action, one action move back to repository that hosts the meeting the Jenkins CI.org uh, old minutes back to Jenkins infra. The reasoning and that could help a lot that Daniel stated while would we put a repository under Jenkins CI organization or Jenkins infra. If you put something on Jenkins CI, it's because it will end up generating deliverable for end users of Jenkins products or plugins. If it doesn't, then it's on Jenkins infra. So Jenkins infra for the infra tooling, of course, but for instance, Jenkins.io, that's not something you don't give the website to an end user. You give the websites to a web server that it could publish it to end user. So that's infra. Same for repository permission updater, same for updates under on a lot of repositories, which mean in the case of a repository containing uh, at least old wiki, old minutes of old meetings, then it should be on Jenkins infra. Which means now it's uh, for the government's board to decide if they want a repository for the initial request, which was having a board and other requests and issues. Do you want uh, governance board people to have it on Jenkins Infra following that rule? Uh, should it be the same repository? Should it be one on Jenkins CI? That's up to the board to decide. Yeah, so let's just bounce it back to the board. I, I'm I'm one voice on the board. There are three other voices that are active on the board. So let's let's just bounce it back to the board for their next meeting. Yeah. Um, just one note for everyone, particular uh, the team I'm working for. We have to be careful when we want to make change too hastily. I'm the first to make uh, quick changes sometimes. So I'm the first to be blamed. But that time, um, we as a community did a mistake. We didn't wait it enough time for a consensus. I know it can be frustrating, but we have to wait at least a few days for a decision like this one. It's not a problem. I'm not pointing finger. Just say, let's just have in mind when we will act on the upcoming uh, weeks, months, on when we have something, a new repository or something that can have impact. I'm assigning myself for this one and then I will uh, give it to you, Mark, uh, for the delegating to the board, if it's okay for you. Yes. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Alex, for uh, the exchange uh, on this one. Not able to fork the Jenkins repository. So I've, I assume this one is okay. So we had a contributor who was marked as spam. Uh, so he had to be unblocked by Jenkins CI GitHub organization admins, which we aren't. There's been a long discussion about that. So I've asked them to confirm. Mark, did you have more information or Bruno about the, that contributor? Uh, is this... Pushker 001. Yep. Yeah. No, so they've oh. this. They have been unblocked. They are. We're we're getting responses every two or three days, maybe one or two mm -hmm. sentences. So unblocking is correct. I see no reason to to do anything further there. I close it, and and declare it done. Uh, Daniel's unblocking him is is good. We I agree with Daniel that we still need to have the discussion about what our policy should be in terms of welcoming and handling spam, because mm -hmm. I think Daniel took the exactly correct approach. He actively blocked a, a, a spam, a spam step. And, but we need more conversation because it's not, as far as I know, not been codified how we actually mm -hmm. handle spam pull requests. He did what mm -hmm. I think, I think he did a very reasonable thing and the correct thing, but we ought to codify it so that we can all be consistent in doing that. I don't know if we, we if we can see blocked accounts somewhere, so we can check this ourselves or this kind of 
issue. Yeah, I would yes. assume uh, that you have to be an organization admin yeah. on the GitHub organization. Okay. And since it's on Jenkins CI, that's that's why yeah. you, hi, and Stefan, yeah. for instance, cannot. I was thinking about uh, notifying in a channel somewhere, but it will be an additional task. And yeah, I don't know how much he then, how much people he ban, but yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think it's worth a discussion because yep. we should have Jenkins CI and Jenkins Infra have the same spam policy. They are effectively the same the same com, con, conceptual organization, right? It's the Jenkins project, but we don't have a spam pull request policy stated anywhere that I know of. Yep. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna let's that issue open until uh, Pushkar confirm it's okay or not. And worst case, we close it uh, next week, seven days. Okay for you? Yes, great with cool. me, thanks. Uh, cleanup of prod confluence, Hervé. Uh, can you uh, give me- The dump me... Uh, okay and encrypted in my, on my hard drive. I have some issue. Uh, I wanted to have the storage accounts to store a different kind of archive we can make uh, for Jenkins Safra in uh, Azure. But I'm, I have some trouble uh, getting this account located down and simultaneously be able to create container in it. So, uh, Working on it, I think I'll I I can make a, a I can create manually the container uh, on Azure for now and putting this archive so we can close this issue and deal with the creation as code uh, later. I don't know. I propose we keep it think. open and we we'll see this week and we'll yeah. see. there is no okay. reason to urge closing issues. Again, if we're working on it, yes, it has to be yeah, stable. On my hard drive for me. Yes, so the issue is still open. Then to be done, which means we keep that issue on the bucket list. And we move it to next milestone. Thanks, Ray. Some Jenkins mirror are using the wrong media type for plugin download, causing proxy checksum failure. Okay, that one, I don't like it. That's a tricky one. Uh, summary, some organization have a kind of appliance that, uh, let's say, read and rewrite on the go the files. Uh, so when plugins are downloads, it changes the content of the file. So we could debate ours, is it really changing files or changing metadata or both. Or... But the thing is that some of the mirrors have issues with the application VND, uh, whatever. In that case, it's the FTP New York or USL.org. Since it's quite specific to one mirror, uh, because the, the requester says other are concerned, but so the thing is we could use that URL and check on all of our mirrors do a curl on each, see the uh, which one are concerned and then contact the mirror administrator. That would be also a way for us to, to keep uh, up to date the link and the relationship with the mirror administrator. And the goal will be to ask them to change their Apache or Nginx configuration so they use the correct media type. Does it sound good for you? Yes. There is nothing we can else because these are on other mirrors, but maybe we can contact the mirror admin to ask them to fix that part. If they don't answer, we can tell that person to contact them themselves. But let's try by ourselves first. That that would help them, even if it's a word and edge case. Uh, is there a volunteer or should I take it? I don't mind. I don't mind either. So in my in my heart of heart <clears throat> heart of hearts, I'm wondering if this should be negative five priority. I, I know that's a terrible thing to say, but 
but there are so many other things that are are much more on my mind than whether or not oddball whether or not surprising corporate proxies that have the audacity to alter content of of web requests should be a cause for concern for us so no dispute damien you're welcome to take it i just worry that this is this is so obscure yes it it's 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 a real problem for them i agree but the real problem for them as far as i can tell is somebody's doing something inside their corporation that people don't generally do yep but somehow it's what they said about the application media type is not wrong so since it's best effort i mean i won't lose that will be yeah. an opportunity for us to contact mirror admin so uh but you're you're correct i agree with the priority it's not the priority it's an edge case right. um i we won't spend time on that we won't spend the best effort time maybe contacting and asking if we don't have any answer there is nothing we can do about that yeah great they could host mirror themselves that would solve their problem um so then i'm taking it thanks mark a certificate for repo jenkins ci uh, that will expire soon so I was really proud last week saying, oh, it's easy. We can do it ourselves, but we can technically, but that means we will have to do it every three months because Let's Encrypt does not deliver certificate valid more than 90 days, right? Uh, we'll meet Gifrog later today, Mark, uh, and hi. So I will ask them if they have a solution, if we have to wait for the new system, because depending on the answer, we can only generate one for three months now. They will migrate our instance on the system and they might provide that feature for us in the future. Or we can also ask them if there is an automated or easy process. Might not be bad to change every three months. So we're only 12 days away from this thing expiring. It will be yep. a large problem if it expires on us. Yes. So is it okay if we start by sending it? I just need to confirm the initial procedure. One for three months for now. And then we, we see if we have to keep that every three months, if we have to find another solution. That that sounds great to me. We just don't want to lose that certificate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Moving to next one. And it starts to be the top priority for me. Uh, network recreation on Azure. Um, can you give us a quick status survey on this one? It's VPN machine, right? Yes. Uh, so the VPN machine declared that code is uh, up and running. I can connect uh, uh, via SSH in it. Um, you finished uh, cleanup uh, refactoring of uh, the VPN declaration in Puppet. And I have now to add an, uh, an additional uh, Puppet declaration for this new private.vpn.jenkins.io. Nice. Almost there. Yes. And once done, as a reminder for everyone, then we should be able to uh, finish the private gates cluster and see if everything works all together. And then create the public KVTS cluster and then mm -hmm. activate the uh, artifact caching proxy finally. <laughs> so thanks, survey. So that one keeps being worked on. That's your top priority. Uh, I, I, I'm speaking about. Uh, preparing something about this uh, journey to deploy a new service. I think it could be. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, anything you will deploy on the current public network on Azure will be bound to bad performances because of uh, that overlap issue. So yeah, network, <laughs> for once it wasn't DNS. <laughs> Windows agent on CI Jenkins IO disconnect prematurely. Thanks, Stefan. Uh, it was is it closed? No, it's still open. Yeah, Stefan, can you give up? Uh, give us a 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm finishing by cleaning up the labels on the acceptance test for it not to crash because of the Windows label used. And oh, I'm, yes. I'm on it. <clears throat> okay, so I'm challenging something there on that job and it's a nice thing that we have both Stefan, Mark and everywhere. I'm challenging the fact that we are trying labels that I don't think that are existing anymore or that are used, such as GDK 8, GDK 11, and GDK 17. The so, pipeline library uses Maven something, but we weren't able at first glance to find pipelines or pipeline libraries that will use these labels. Great, then we should delete them. The intent was that it would only test labels we actually use, but it was the labels were extracted from use when whenever I read the code that used them. Mm -hmm. So if they're unused labels, they should be deleted. Absolutely. This the only the intent of this test was just to check labels we're using. In a perfect world, there'd be some automatic way of extracting the actual labels we use, but yep. we're not in a perfect world. We are not there yet. <laughs> so Stefan, you keep continue uh, working on that, right? Yes. this one there um realign jenkins ci.org mission so work in progress on my side uh, with the repositories we meet uh, gfrog uh, later today so still working on this part i don't have anything to add i didn't have time uh, to check my to check the last tests so i need to do it after that meeting before we go to gfrog back but they will also come back to us with uh, helps or if i have this question they will help us understand so java 19 that has been moved there cool uh, now do we have new important issue that we have to add to the current milestone i propose the that issues opened by Alex a few weeks ago about mirror stat wrong results. So in fact, it's not wrong result. It's just that we have four mirrors that are marked as disabled. So that's what we said earlier. Um, so I've added them to the current milestone and the RV and high. So we can endeavor depending on the time we have to spend. The goal is to check if each of these uh, mirrors, if we have enough information, if they are up to date, and if they are, we can enable them again. Mark, I think server Yon was disabled because they were unstable or not the correct UIP rights. Unstable. We we oh, okay. we were we received repeated failure messages from European users saying, "Hey, when I'm trying to access the Serverion uh, server, it's it's failing," and we we okay. said disable it we're not going to fight with it okay so we might be careful on this one do you have memories of the three others aliun.com is actually from alibaba and as far as i can tell tell it is still a live functional site i'm not sure i trust its goip location but it seems to be the mirror seems to be current as far as the spot check i did uh it was it was i added this mirror uh, uh, during last year, I, I might not have enabled, enabled it. I don't know. Yeah, it it is definitely not enabled, at least in the views that I saw. It's not, it's known yep. to the system, but marked yeah. as disabled. But I think, I think it could be enabled. I don't know what its GOIP sure. is, and therefore I'm not sure if it will GIP, actually help. Yeah, it's GOIP... Uh, locate the server in the US. Yeah, and, and that would surprise me if it, where I saw it, it's in the it's in the geographic center of the United States, but Alibaba having servers in the geographic center of the United States would be quite a surprise. <laughs> okay, so we might have to contact them. For Belnet, I will double check with Olivier. I think, uh, I don't think we, uh, we still have a contact there as well. So for each, we will have to decide if they are not responsive. We'll have to remove them from the list. Uh, uh, if I remember correctly, when I checked yesterday, Belnet mm -hmm. uh, was synced. Uh, all files were there. Or mm -hmm. last. Uh, 
that, that will make sense. Uh, that was someone that Olivier Vernon knew because uh, living in Belgium. And I think it's just uh, we lost track or they had an outage uh, one or two years ago. Or uh, that also might most probably be the same as Alibaba. It was added in the system and we never finished the last mile. So go to check this one. Um, I'm adding it to the new iteration. Uh, private uh, case. Yeah, sorry. Look, go ahead. Uh, go to webdesk issue and look at which is the one without any milestone. Maybe. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So the size, it's, it's, uh, there are two issues related to governance repository. Mm -hmm. This one is the second yes. one without so, any milestone. So I'm adding it. Um, I will update the notes. That one is only uh, reverting uh, what we did uh, last week. The other one will be for the board. So I will do the triage afterwards. Uh, good rem I forgot about this one. Thanks, Hervé. Um, I'm trying to sort them. There are, there are the most recent ones. It's the fourth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did someone add it? Uh, that one move ACI remaining workload to Kubernetes. That will mean creating Windows work nodes. So later, after uh, once we will have moved everything everywhere. Are you sure it's okay. not delayed? No. Mm. New West eventually. Oh, that sorting thing, it's driving me nuts. New West, you'll go, you'll get the, the opening date that. Uh, okay, so question. we don't have without milestone. Are there other issues that we saw? I saw, I marked them. Uh, just a note: we have Datadog uh, Terraform, which is failing. Um, with an error message related to the plugin ill score uh, probe, which is unable to be created. I don't remember which one of us uh, added that, but I just wanted to mention that it, someone has to throw an eye on this one. Uh, Terraform job. Who created that probe? I need a name. On the dog. Yes, that manage your Terraform. No deletion. I don't know what you said, deletion. Okay, I will get blamed then. The no, no. For, uh, I, I don't want to blame Hervé. I will never do that. Someone has to look at it. I'm not opening an issue, just a reminder to the team. Um, so Stefan, you worked in the acceptance test. Uh, I think that's all. Uh, 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 no, that's uh, that's all. That's all for me. Do you have other topics you want to work on, on or underline? Um, you, you spoke last week about uh, creating our own um, proxy with um, Digital Ocean. Is that still uh, a work to do? Prox. Oh, uh, custom mirror? Yeah. Well, yeah, sorry, not proxy, but a mirror. I think that could be worth it, though. Uh, but I propose we sure. delay for January, because since we have that um, uh, uh, Servana, which is serving from Indonesia, I propose that we had one month delay to see how it behave. That could be worth it to ask if we have any Indian user uh, to contact them and say, okay, uh, how is it working now? Uh, I will try to contact the, the the author of the closed issues that we have during the past weeks about this slowness. Uh, if you see anyone on the community that you know are based in India, uh, can you ask them if uh, they can see that mirror, please? And so I propose that we delay uh, on January. if. It's not enough for some of the Indian user, we could still add that mirror because that will be taking credit from our digital ocean. If we don't need to better to use that credit for CI Jenkins. I and and we stopped uh, talking about page or duty. I don't know what the status is. 
the fact that they were going to close the account and the, or, or that we would have to pay yeah so so resolution sorry that i didn't share it here resolution was that uh, pager duty um, after our plea to to reconsider canceling our free account said oh we didn't realize you were a free account our records were old enough that they didn't have note of that and that's perfectly understandable since they've been a donor to the Jenkins project for well over 10 years, right? It may be by this point as much as 15 years that they've been contributing to the Jenkins project. So we're very grateful to them. They've said, yes, they'll continue donating. So we don't have to change anything in our, we can continue using pager duty for our notifications. Perfect. So pager duty, thanks, Stefan. So they keep sponsoring us. Is that is my understanding correct? <laughs> that is correct. The nice one sentence, crisp summary, PagerDuty has agreed to continue sponsoring us. No action for us. Okay, I think that's all. Other issues, question folks? Okay, so we can we can say it's okay. Uh, I'm stopping the recording and the sh screen share. See you next week.